This one is an absolute chunky boy. <laughs> uh, it's a sci-fi. This is The Ferryman by Justin Cronin. Justin Cronin is the author of the Passage series, which is a very popular series. And one that, like this one, they're quite long. They're kind of chunky books. And they try to explore some interesting ideas. Uh, so this one is about Proctor um, on Prospera, a futuristic island. Proctor is a ferryman, a man whose job it is to take inhabitants at the end of their about 120 year lifespan to the ferry that then takes them to another island for reiteration, which is sort of like reincarnation, supposedly. Uh, it's a bit of a mystery what that is exactly. That's kind of part of the plot. Today, Proctor has been called to the home of his adoptive father, whose life is at its end, though they haven't spoken much in the last 12 years since his mother's suicide. As his father gets to the ferry, he gives Proctor a strange message, which makes him start to ask dangerous questions, questioning the very nature of the island and that the servant underclass are happy with their lot crammed into the annex, which is a second lesser island. And it kind of goes from there. The Ferryman is a standalone uh, book from this author who usually writes series. It's science fiction, uh, but it has the novel, the author's, sorry, uh, trademark length and sort of exploration of cerebral plotting and ideas. I'm quite drawn to the mysterious, futuristic island, uncover the truth kind of story. Um, like a Logan's Run from 76 or The Island from 2005. Those are both movies, but you kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about plot wise. Um, I suppose it's like exploring a dystopian future, but with a closed world and less gritty idealization, better lighting. <laughs> These worlds are often made to look appealing and the rotten state of things is kind of hidden underneath. The fun starts in the world building and it ends in us basically solving a mystery there's sort of like often a mystery kind of element to it and that's always at the heart of these stories which is finding out what's really going on so initially I liked the world of this story and kind of exploring the rules and finding out how it works it's a peaceful and innocent sort of space but it has a sterile sort of feel it's a bit strict people are kind of emotionless it's a world that the creator has made and it works and it makes sense and I liked that. It feels pretty solid. I felt like Proctor was quite an interesting person in that context. And I was interested in what was going to happen to him in the course of the book. As uh, both of his parents at their deaths had broken through the sort of cultural shell, shall we say, and shown some strong emotions, which are kind of not really acceptable in that, um, in the environment of the story. I mean, so would he do the same? What was happening under the surface here? These kinds of questions. Um, but then for me, the issue was that the book just took too long at some 500 pages and not much was happening at all. Like he would just drink some wine or something or have a bath. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> like I don't need descriptions of this for pages and pages. Um, so yeah, I just kept losing interest with these dull scenes of description that didn't really further the plot at all for me. And because of the nature of the world, it didn't really take us deeper into the characters either. So it became pretty dull. I wanted to care more about the B plot involving the annex and the sort of servant class that they have and that kind of class war story. But I was just bored and I just couldn't care enough. Um, yeah, so then the last section of this book, the whole world of the story is upended and everything that you thought you knew changes. And that was an interesting decision. Um, it was fine. It just, by the time that happened, it had taken way too long for me um, to get there. And I think um, it's maybe, I feel like this is a bit of a harsh thing to say, but I think it's trying to be a little bit more clever than it really is as an idea. I don't want to spoil anything for you, but I was kind of like, this isn't an unpredictable twist, you know? So yeah, it's okay. On the whole, uh, the author writes in a way that sort of flows well. It's fairly easy to read. Um, but this one was just too long for me. I, you could have cut a third of it and maybe trying a little bit too hard to be different and clever. Sorry. Uh, I felt, it felt a bit overwritten and underdeveloped. 
and the ending it's not that unpredictable as I mentioned so it just was a bit of a weak read for me um, but that said I'm not necessarily the target audience for sci-fi generally I'd like to dabble in it if something interests me so I would say if you're a fan of this author you're kind of already used to his um, long length and the way he explores some of these ideas so I think you're gonna like this book so if you like his books normally maybe give this one a try and if you kind of love that long slow burn science fiction just sort of sinking into the world and the environment then maybe try this one uh, for me it was just an okay read it was just 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 okay uh, yeah but thank you to the publisher who sent me a copy of this book to read and share with you you can check out some of my other videos. I also have another channel and social, so you can find links below if you want more of that. And if you want to hang out again, remember to like and subscribe. And you can always leave a comment. Let me know what you thought or let me know what else you might want to see. Thank you.